Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to write down an error interval for a decimal rounded off to two decimal places. So let's go straight into the examples here. So write down the error interval for 2.46 rounded to two decimal places. Now since this decimal has been rounded off to two decimal places, this means our scale is going up in 0.01s. Okay, so I'm just going to put 2.46 down on our page there. So the number above 2.46 on the scale will be 2.47. So you just need to add 1 onto this last digit here. And the number before 2.46 on our scale will be 2.45. We then need to go halfway between these two numbers to get our lower bound and our upper bound. So halfway between 2.45 and 2.46 would be 2.455. If you're having trouble with working out the number halfway, just add these two decimals up and then divide by 2. And then the number halfway between 2.46 and 2.47 will be 2.465. So again, you could just add these two decimals and then half the answer. Okay, so these two numbers are the lower bound and the upper bound. So we just need to write down our error interval now. So what you do is put the lower bound first, which is 2.455. Then you put a less than or equal to sign. In the middle, I'm going to put the letter N because it was just a number rounded off to two decimal places. Usually it tells you what letter to put in the middle when you write down the error interval, so it will say in the question. Then you put the less than sign, and then you put the upper bound at the end. So that is our error interval. So let's look at one more example then. So we've got to write down the error interval for 12.63 rounded to two decimal places. So again, this means our scale is increasing by 0.01 each time. So if we write 12.63 down, so if we add 0.01 onto this, we get 12.64. Take 0.01 off this, we get 12.62. And we just need to find our halfway numbers to give our lower bound and upper bound. So halfway between 12.62 and 12.63 would be 12.625. No, it says, well, I just put, I'm just putting a 5 on the end of this number here. And halfway between 12.63 and 12.64 is 12.635. So again, I'm just putting a 5 on this lower number. So we've got our lower bound, we've got our upper bound, so we can now write down our error interval. So we put the lower bound first, 12.625. Then we put a less than or equal to sign. Then we put the letter, letter N in the middle, then a less than sign, and then the upper bound. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.